Kia ora te whanau whanui, my name's Tuck, I'm the Director of MDA Experiences and the MDA Group. Um, I'm from Te Arawa, born and bred, Ngāti Whakaue, Ngāti Pikiao, Ngāti Hurunga, and uh, my companies are spread across the tourism sector. So we operate uh, in the adventure tourism space with rafting, mountain biking, kayaking, rock climbing, and all that sort of fun stuff. Uh, we have an events company that takes care of both corporate and sports events. And of course, there's the uh, other side of our company, which is around about the staffing and bringing crews in for different sort of projects. We have around between 30 and 40 uh, full-time equivalent staff throughout the year uh, and then you know sort of 20 to 30 more staff on top of that that we bring in plus a bunch of contractors as well. We work in a really dynamic environment and uh, in adventure tourism uh, health and safety plays a big part of it especially since the adventure activity regulations were introduced so it's a very high uh, and important focus for us in everything that we do. This is not the adventure tourism of the old days or business of the old days where it was just harden up and deal with it. No, 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 we've, we've actually got to be a lot more thoughtful than that because uh, there's a, an emotional side and a practical side as well. It's an emotional side where we have to look after each other and make sure that everyone feels taken care of and feels safe, but there's a practical side where we actually need to ensure that that safety is there. And uh, if someone, uh, whether they be a junior guide or a senior guide, feels like there's a moment that doesn't feel safe or where it could be safer, they need to have that ability to speak up. And that's, I think, part of our Māori ideals that we have, the manaki tanga, the whanaunga tanga that we have within our business, where we know that actually everyone has the opportunity to speak up. Yes, we have protocol for when things hit the fan. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, we, we, we um, have designated trip leaders on trips and all that sort of stuff. So people who will take ultimate responsibility. But whether you're a new guide just starting off or a guide that's been with the company for 30 years, we want everyone to have um, a feeling that they can contribute. And we think we've got there. We, we, we think we have that. Uh, I had a transfer driver who's only a junior driver but um, a step in the van isn't working properly. And he sent me a message on Facebook saying, hey bro, just letting you know, I took the van out, the step isn't working properly, uh, it keeps beeping when it pops out. If a junior guide has, uh, feels confident enough to come to the owner of the company and say that, I'd say that we've got the culture in there um, that allows for that openness. At the end of the day though, if we're running a tour and we don't believe someone can do that uh, activity safely, then we don't go. It's as simple as that. So if we get someone on a mountain bike and um, uh, they want to go off and ride grade 5 trails but their skills are sitting at a grade 2 level, it's as simple as that. We won't go and ride grade 5 trails. Our guide will identify their skill set, look at how they're riding, make sure they've got the skills to be able to do it and then go and ride what's appropriate for them. Our health and safety plan is a dynamic document. It's not set in stone, it's not a book that's bound and that's what it is. It's something that we can always contribute to, that we can always review, um, and, and that we always do. We, we do this uh, uh, pretty extensive uh, induction day with our crew every year, just to make sure everyone's still up with the play, ready for the big season ahead, aware of any changes that have been made and um, uh, really a, a time for them to contribute to any changes they might want to see. So we'll send the document out to them for the few weeks leading up to, to it. Um, we'll get them to sign that they've uh, read the document and um, uh, then we'll get them to come into this meeting and, and contribute to, to our health and safety plan. Adventure tourism here in New Zealand is world leading. Um, you know, a few years ago there was an inquiry done uh, into the adventure tourism uh, sector and as a result of that we had regulations introduced. But I suppose one of the things that was noted in there was that um, we are world leading, we do run safe operations here, 99.9% .9 of the operators are doing a really good job. Uh, we, we've always prided ourselves as being a part of that high standard, as a part of being world leading. We already had um, uh, operation plans and set in place before the regulations were introduced for mountain biking and even today they still exceed um, uh, what is required as a minimum standard in those regulations so uh, we're pretty proud of what we do uh, at MDA Experiences and we know that that's actually a part of New Zealand adventure tourism culture.